Welcome to the Classic Air Desert Hotel and we're going to give you a little room tour. It is very dark in here. This is the brightest we can get it. So um, hopefully you can see the details. <laughs> this is a motel. It is really close to the White Sands National Park and this is why we chose this location and also because it's pet friendly. So this was the best option for us with those things in mind. So when we first walked in, um, we were really happy with the space. It's pretty large. Um, we immediately noticed the bedspread. <laughs> it's very New Mexico. Not the best bed, but it got us through the night and you know, we're happy that we just have a roof over our head and we have someplace warm to sleep because it is pretty chilly at night here. The pillows, again, pretty average. Uh, so yeah, just, just keep in mind, you're not gonna have you know the most amazing bed experience here. We did utilize uh, the dining room section, I guess, <laughs> this little corner over here, because we did uh, do a lot of takeout, and so, which is, that's the thing with this location too, it is next to almost all the restaurants and fast food in the town, so we literally just like would buy, uh, take out, call takeout our food and then just bring it back here and eat it, so. One night we had Asian food, which was like right next door you can walk to. And the next night we had Applebee's, which is like two doors down. Again, you can walk to it if you want to, and we brought it back here. I will say we really, really enjoyed the Asian food called Bangkok, Tokyo. Excellent. We actually wanted it the second day, but they were closed, and then we had to go to Applebee's, and Applebee's, oh my god, we did not enjoy it, so. Applebee's, and they messed up our order, so we were not really pleased with Applebee's. But Bangkok, Tokyo, definitely give that a try if you like Asian food. Um, so yeah, so we did utilize the space. Um, the curtains did work just fine. They did black out the room. They're a little bit hard to open and close, but they worked just fine. And as we were actually packing, we noticed there was some, um, if you need to charge some things, you can use this back here. So if you're looking for somewhere to charge your devices, either use a bathroom or use this back here. The TV, I, I like to always have the TV on when I'm at hotels, I don't know, I just like background noise. So, did use a TV, it has a pretty decent amount of channels, so, um, you know, like comedy and MTV, VH1, all that, all that good stuff, and um, yeah. We don't we don't ever use dressers, because we don't want to leave anything behind if we're only, you know, if we're only staying for like a couple days, we rarely ever use dr uh, drawers or anything like that. Actually, we did use this space to place our hats though, so that was good. And then the desk. Um, Crystal always uses the desk because she um, has to transfer a lot of her photos and videos onto her laptop, so she used the desk quite often. I don't think we ever sat in this chair once. I, I didn't. I don't think Crystal did. Um, we both always sat in the, the dining chairs or the beds, so. But it's actually a pretty nice office chair, I would say. But um, yeah, so that is the... The bedroom, so now Crystal's gonna show you the bathroom. They did provide two luggage racks, which was nice uh, because we are traveling uh, with two people, so we always like to lay out our luggage, um, you know, above ground if possible. So we did utilize those, and we did have look, some self shelf space, <laughs> tongue twister, shelf space up here. Um, I use this as well, I put all my bags up here, and these hangers, I don't particularly like these type of hangers. It's um, the ones where you have to kind of like take out through the hole. And I'm not gonna even do it because the first time I did it, I couldn't even put it back in. So they do have hangers, um, you know, you to put up your jackets and stuff, but I didn't really use this. The only time we use this is to hang our towels because the dry, or the dry, the, um, the AC is right below it. And of course we're using the heater right now because it's cold, it's in the winter, it's the uh, end of November, and nighttime gets really cold. So we did use the heater, and so there's hot air blowing up, and we dried our towels with that, hanging it up. But we didn't really wanna put anything else that could affect with heat up here, because, you know, like, we didn't wanna put like dog food up here or something, because we didn't want the dog food to get ruined with the heat. So just, that's just something to keep note. Another thing to know about this uh, old AC system is that the temperature is just out of whack. So we put it at 70 degrees the whole time on auto. And um, at night when we went to bed, there was times when we were being so cold and then other times it would be so hot. Just the temperatures are just like all over the place. It would probably go to like 80 degrees and then to 60 degrees. So 
It, we had a hard time sleeping because of that. The temperature just did not adjust very well. So something to note. This is the bathroom area. Um, pretty good size sink area. We both had a space to put our stuff. So we actually moved this part, this tray and the ice tray on the other side, which I'll show you in a second. But um, very limited toiletries. We just got some soap, some bar soap. And then inside the shower, which I'll show you in a second, I think we just got a bottle of shampoo, which was from Kim which is so weird, but anyway. On the other side there is the hair dryer and a couple of outlets. On the other side, you have a microwave, which is nice. And um, you also have a coffee maker, some to-go cups, which is greatly appreciated because some hotels did not provide to-go to -go cups anymore. Um, but yeah, you get some coffees in there and um, there's a nice fridge, good size fridge, and they do have a freezer up here as well, but it didn't work very well. Um, as a matter of fact, it actually melted the ice and the stuff that we had on the bottom here, everything got soaking wet. Maybe it's so, it's on three. Yeah, I, I don't know what the problem is, but it just <laughs> it didn't work for us. But it's here if you need it. It did keep some stuff uh, frozen, so that was good. <laughs> <laughs> so then up here there is an outlet here too so this is before you know we never noticed that other out the extension cord with the additional outlet so i just used this one outlet and i had um a device that could plug in like usb ports and other additional ports so or additional um outlets so i just used that and plugged everything in here and i just unplugged this microwave and just use this area <laughs> to plug all my electronics like gopros and uh, mics and phones and stuff like that. It was your charging station. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was basically <laughs> my charging station. Just this one little space. All right, there is an ironing board right here. We did not use this, but it was nice to have. Um, you know, a lot of times we do need to iron, so it was good to have that. And the bathroom is kind of tiny. Actually, it's not that tiny, it's just maybe hard to get in for both of us. Um, but here's the toilet. Um, lots of, they did provide a pretty good amount of towels, I would say, it's average. Um, we didn't have to ask for extra. And um, this window, it's actually kind of cold in here because the heat doesn't come through this uh, area for some reason. It doesn't like transfer over here. But this window actually makes it pretty cold too, I think. Yeah, breeze comes in. Yeah, and like this morning especially, it's super breezy. It's very, very windy. So it's extra, it's a little bit colder here than usual. And then we have a nice, Full length mirror. This is appreciated too all the time. Uh, and back here, this is the tub and shower. So very old school, you know. Um, you gotta use two knobs to get your temperature right. And then this shower head is very unique and old. I haven't seen anything like this and it's made for little people. Um, but it was fine. You know, you can adjust it too. You can put it up or down. So it's adjustable, so that's good. Um, actually, I guess you could like go up like this and put it up, but... I know, it sags, it doesn't yeah. stay up. There yeah. Goes. So, yeah, and then um, there was like a bottle of shampoo in here, but I think we utilized that, so... Um, so yeah, that's our little bathtub. I would say overall, I would give this place like three stars. Do you agree, Candy? Three stars. Um, you know, it's great that they have this location and it's pet friendly, so that's the part they appreciate the most. Uh, on the downside, it is a motel style, so you will hear a lot of noise outside, you know, people coming in at night. Um, the walls are really thin, so we heard some guy yelling at stuff yesterday. I don't know what the heck he was yelling at, but he was going at it for a couple hours, I would say. And, you know, when people come in, you hear all the luggage and people, you know, yapping and talking. So that's the part about motels that are just, you just have to keep in mind, like, it's going to get noisy. Um, so you might want to have earplugs. We actually did have eye masks last night, so we that kind of helped us a little bit just to like calm us down. <laughs> Wi-Fi does not work here. Um, poor Candy, you know, she did not. She didn't even have cell phone reception in this area. I did. I had Verizon, so I was able to use my phone and the internet. But Candy could not use the internet at all. I mean, there was times that she could, but it's very limited, and she had to be in a specific corner to use the Wi-Fi. So just to note, do not depend on the Wi-Fi here. Especially in the room we were in, we were in room 231. Definitely don't get Wi-Fi here. 
Also, they do provide breakfast here and you get a $5 credit uh, each morning for breakfast. Uh, and like most of their items are pretty cheap, so you could, you know, get free breakfast or maybe you might pay a dollar or two, dollar or two more. Um, so Kenya and I, we both got uh, eggs. Uh, Kenya got eggs and English muffin, I got eggs and pancakes. Pancakes were okay. Eggs were terrible. <laughs> we couldn't even eat it. It was that bad. It's basically like hotel buffet food, you know, at um, like two star hotels. <laughs> it just, it wasn't good at all. I didn't, I guess they just do it to, you know, serve really quick, but we couldn't do it and we're not gonna even eat breakfast there today because we're just not gonna eat anything anyway. So it's great that they provide it. And I know other people were eating there and they were fine with it, but I guess we just have a more picky palate. <laughs> so that's another thing to keep note. It's not fresh eggs or anything. It's not fresh food that they made. I think they're just reheating things or like, you know, using box goods and stuff. Other than that though, the staff was great. I did like the staff. They were all very nice. Um, they have actually a cute gift shop in the lobby and we bought some, uh, dog biscuits um, with like this cute can. So we did buy that and um, they have some other goods like this with the New Mexico design, which was pretty cool. There, are, um, I saw stands are like, a lot of them are local artisans. Oh yeah, okay, so yeah, there are a lot of local artisans doing, um, that's what they have on display there. The manager and uh, the people at the desk, they were all super duper friendly, so like that. As far as like the pet friendliness, um, it's only $15 a night here per night, so that's very cheap. And they are, they do love pets here a lot. I mean, they say like, we love dogs and they have, they actually have a little area for the dogs to, you know, relieve themselves. They don't have many grassy areas, you know, in New Mexico. So they did provide like the fake grass area for them. So that was really nice. Other than that, yeah, so that's our review. I mean, it's not the greatest hotel, but it worked for us because we wanted to be near White Sands National Park and we wanted a pet friendly hotel. So this was the best option we found. I hope this review helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.